Yeah, hello, hello. You are welcome to Uwa of Africa, and today I'm taking you to Estonia. Now, Estonia is in Europe, and from the map here, you can see where Estonia is located. Estonia share border with Russia, so from here going in there all Russia, and then Finland, and then uh, Sweden, and Lithuania. So you can also move to Poland and then Germany because it is in the EU. Now today, the reason why I'm talking about Estonia is uh, there's this summer school that they give summer courses and the summer courses, they are very affordable. It's almost like conferences. You see, when you want to migrate to uh, Europe, you can either use study, master's program or PhD or undergraduate or any education related. They also have conferences and they also have summer schools. So one of the powerful summer schools in uh, uh, Eastern Europe is from Estonia. Estonia has a powerful summer school that is coming from University of Tallinn. So I will take you to the website for you to know. The reason why I'm making this video is the summer school is very, very affordable. Some of them you pay 100 euros, others to 200 euros, others to 300 euros. And even some of them you will not pay anything. So once you make the payment, they send you admission offer. You use the admission offer to apply for a visa. But remember, there are other documents that you need to add to the admission offer before you can get visa. So on this video, I will tell you all those documents that you need in order to get a visa with the help of the admission from this summer school. So the school is a, the summer school and it is affiliated to University of uh, Tallinn University. It is in Estonia. So when you come here, these are the summer schools uh, courses that they have. That is 2023. They have uh, language courses. And then with the language courses, you click here, you can see they have Estonia language, Russia language, English language, Ukrainian language. So uh, Estonia language, for example, you have to pay seven, uh, 550 euros. Or regular fee, which is a this is the early registration, and then regular fee is 600 euros. So once you pay the 600 euros, to give you admission, uh, admission offer or admission letter. You use this one to apply for a visa. Now uh, they also have Russia language, which is also 600 euros. English language, which is 550. Ukrainian language, which is also uh, uh, 550. And all this, uh, Russia, Ukraine, they are all share border or they are very close to Estonia. So when, if you don't like the language courses, there are also other courses like creative courses and with the creative courses, they have creative uh, writing in English, design for serious game, uh, gamification workshops and so on and so on. Uh, they also have uh, the courses in design and engineering so you click the plus sign it will take you these are the web landing page for entrepreneurship and then experimental interaction and so on and so on so you can book one of these courses and then you get admission offer or admission letter naturally there's no requirement for this one because uh, it's summer school and then you also have a uh, courses in humanities so with the humanities you can see uh, formation of global norms and so on and then uh, in fact i really like this course summer school in soviet history and culture there's no enrollment it's free you're not going to pay anything they also have courses in education so you can see 400 euros so i see this one far better than to go and pay an agent ten thousand dollars five thousand dollars for them to help you to go to Europe. when you get to estonia it's like you are in Europe. and then online courses they, are, they also have online courses here so uh, when you come here they also have scholarships including estonia government scholarships so if you want scholarship for one of some of these courses it's also possible but my interest is not on the scholarship my interest is on the 
you are, you are making payment your own payment because uh, this particular video is for those of you uh, maybe you don't want scratch it because scratch it takes a lot of time and then those things so you want to make your payments so these are the some of the course that is a summer course now once you get uh, you register for the summer course and then they give you admission offer you can't use the admission offer only for visa you have to add that you have to add other documents so what are some of the documents that you need to add one of the important documents that you need to add is um, you see you are going to do for example you are going to do a uh, language courses so they are giving you admission so how are you going to get a uh, accommodation who is going to feed you so lucky for us this is the same school that summer school Tarin university summer school they have accommodation here so once you book and you get admission here make sure you go to accommodation and then you book accommodation too so you can see from the, the this is their accommodation so Tarin university international student hostel so here you can see that they have prices in 2023 20, they have 210 euros that is you're going to spend there for three weeks one place in double and triple room they have 155 euros for two weeks 120 euros for up to 10 days so when you book accommodation here they'll add uh, uh, the accommodation reservation the receipt or whatever to also forward you so when you are going for the visa make sure you you add the receipt of the hostel so it could be hostel or receipt receipt of the hostel you add it together with the uh, course registration and then when you get these two things the next thing that you need to add to it is you are if you are a married person make sure you add your marriage certificates if you have any property like land house add the property the documents photocopy of the documents certify add them to it if you have a, any property that you think it can help you if you are a, a staff here you can add your pay slip you can also print your SNET contribution that is a pension contribution what you have gotten add all those things to it and then present it that you are going to uh, you're going for this summer school but you should t know the reason why you're going to do this maybe you want to learn Russian language and uh, maybe you're a teacher somewhere and sometimes Russians come to your place and then you want to learn the language so that you can impart on the case and so on and so on. so for the motivation it depends on you so once you get all these things uh, I know some people are complaining so what about I have paid a registration fee and I don't get a visa where well, I get my money back yes you get your money back and this one will take us to the practical info so the practical info I've opened it somewhere here these are the terms and conditions these are credit and transport and visa so in case those of you have, you want visa this is where you come and then uh, contact and the frequent ask question now cancellation so you want to know whether in case you don't get the visa will they give you back your money so yes they will give you back in case you don't get the visa or after a certain date they will give you uh, they will refund the money but they have stated here that they will take 25 percent of the money that you paid that is the uh, 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 that is the processing fee so they will take and then they give you the 75 percent and so i think it's far better than to go and see an agent pay a whole lot of money at the end of the day when you don't get it and you want to go for your money a whole lot up and down and those things so guys this is one thing and then when you come here they have registered so you can see all the bills the cost the amount that you're going to pay estonia language 600 euros english language 550 euros so they have stated all of them here and you can even click on continue and know more information about it now last year uh, i brought this info and i know some of you took advantage of it and so guys uh, take time and then apply to this this is also another way that you can migrate to europe specifically estonia 
and then you so you, you will go and so I wish you good luck. Those of you who will try and see, it's not all the time that you have to go to Canada, US, Australia, UK. Sometimes to try countries like Estonia and those things. When you go there and then you work, the important thing is when you get there, you know how you manage and those things, and then you get job and then you migrate to uh, advanced countries like Canada, Australia, and so on and so on. So on this note, I will end here and thank you very much. Bye-bye.